this cartoon is of one of the fun things you can do with upside down cartooning is drawing people that turn into animals and vice versa. So this one we're going to turn a little girl into an animal. So we're going to start out by drawing her hat. She's got a fairly large hat. So start out first with a kind of a rounded triangle. And then just do some lines like that, which makes you think it's kind of filled in, but not. And then her hat, just go up to the top, over to the side, down, all the way across, bring it back up, and bring it down. So that's part of her hat, kind of like a Russian type hat. And then it's got a flap on the top. It's a curved flap like this with a little line in it. And then tuck the back of the top of the hat in behind that flap. So there you have her head, or her hat, I mean. And now for her hair, we're just going to go some hair like this all the way across, like that. And her eyes are simply used. So you bring the eyes down like this on each side. And then put the pupils in here, circles. And I like to put highlights in the eyes to make them more lifelike. So these, where you have the pupils, leave a little spot on the same position in each eye. Color the rest of it in, darken it in. And that makes it look more lifelike because your eyes are round and reflect lights and you always have those little white spots. Now we're going to give her some eyelashes on each side. She's a cute little girl after all. And a couple eyelashes going down on each side. Now she's got a little nose and we're going to make her smile and then kind of imply her cheeks on each side like this. Now for her chin, just bring her chin down here just below her mouth to the side like that. And then a little bit of hair out on each side. Now this little girl has long hair, so here's how we draw that. We start down here, bring a line down, curve it up like this, kind of do a little jagged line like that, bring it back in like that, so there's one side of her hair. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring it up, little jagged line, bring it down like that. Okay, so and then you can add some lines here if you want to make it look more like hair. So there we have a little girl with long hair. So let's turn her upside down and see what we have. A dog, or it could be whatever. Now one of the interesting things about this particular cartoon is that if you change the curvature of the chin, or the hat, which turns into to the uh, cheeks actually. So just, just change these things right here and make them more curved. And then instead of the, the flap that is the tongue, if we make it straight, like this, and if we change the hair on the end of the hair to be rounded, and then just do a little line like that, and see what happens when we do that. Actually, it probably makes the ears a little longer, but it turns into a rabbit looking thing. On the rabbit, probably what you would do would bring it down here to get more of a feel of a rabbit uh, because their cheeks are a little more uh, down on the sides than, than dogs are. So you can see by just changing minor features on the drawing, you can have a total different look on the animal that comes out. Often when I draw this, I end up with an animal that's not totally discernible be between a dog or a rabbit or whatever, but it's obviously a, an animal, so it, it's a lot of fun with kids, and I always, when I'm doing this for kids, ask them, what do you think it is, and they usually tell me what they think it is, and that's good enough for me. So have a lot of fun with it.